Hi guys, this is Nitin, and I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I'm going to talk about a very important topic that is how to get an internship uh, in Silicon Valley or in in any other part of the USA that is Chicago or New Jersey uh, during your master's program. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, the first tip that uh, that is uh, and it's the most important tip for you is get started early. Now the first mistake that most of the graduate students will do is they start very late in the process. That is, if they come in fall, most probably they uh, most probably they they are supposed to do the internship in the next summer. But the month that they start looking for internship is uh, either December or January. Now that is the very first mistake that most of the people do. So I would really like to request you to start really really early. That is uh, that is around once if you come in fall, start in September, uh, and if you come in springs, start around August. Okay. Now uh, August September, this is the time that you should start looking for the summer, uh, start preparing for the summer internship. Uh, in the next year okay so now why to do that because uh, there are few things uh, which which I'll cover in my next tips the, so the, okay so the second tip uh, which is very important for you to get an uh, internship uh, that is summer internship is uh, prepare your resume very early that is once you have started early the first thing that you do is uh, prepare your resume now some of you might have some experience and uh, some of you might not have but whatever you have first create a rough draft of your resume with you now once you have that with you what you can do is it uh, what it does is basically it will help you to get an understanding of what you have what skills you have and what skills you need to build in the coming months okay so start with your resume early now resume building is really a time consuming process and it will take a lot of revisions to go through to arrive at your you know or to get your final resume that's why you should start early uh, the next tip and the third tip is uh, which is another very important tip uh, which i think is uh, pick a technology or pick a uh, pick a particular uh, side which which you are interested in now why that is important so uh, the basic thing is whenever you know that you want to work in this particular area the way it will help you is you can take that area you can go to the linkedin uh, check out the internship opportunities which are available for that particular area and then check the different job requirements which are specified in the job specification and then come up with a list of 10 to 15 things that you need to work on as a part of that interest area now this is a very uh, very crucial uh, point because the thing uh, the, the the benefit that it will give you is it will give you a list of things that you uh, that you need to prepare and which can land you an internship okay so pick a technology even if you are not from a software background you are from the different background uh, so suppose for electrical generally people do in uh, specialize in vlsi or networking so right in september once you are done with your first draft of your resume go on linkedin and search for the internship opportunities for your profile okay write down the 10 things which are repeated mostly the 10 skills which are repeated mostly in terms of technical uh, background uh, in those uh, job postings or internship postings now once you have that list start uh, figure out a way to work on one or two skills every month which will give you uh, which will uh, you know why why that is important because once you start preparing on those skills by the time you reach uh, december or you know by the time you start getting calls you will have already mastered uh, most of the skills that you listed in september okay so it's a very crucial point the next thing the next tip uh, for getting an internship is start applying early now i got an internship in uh, november 2016 uh, which was quite early uh, but the way i uh, got it was i applied to uh, that company in october so i got called in november and i uh, cracked that interview 
so the key here is you need to start applying as early as possible so uh, take two months that is uh, take september and october to finish your uh, resume properly after peer reviewing but right from the november 1 you should be applying to all the job postings or internship opportunities which are there this is very important because once the thanksgiving week or you know december comes all the holidays will start and you will uh, uh, end up missing the opportunities which are there during that period companies generally uh, uh, have a lot of miss employees here and hr generally have uh, vacations during that period so you will uh, you will end up you will end up in january and having applied to no uh, companies okay so start applying early as early as november 1 that is the very important tip that i i would like i would suggest you to follow okay now once that is done uh once once that you are once you have started doing that now what you need to do is while you are building your profile now if you are from software background there are few things that you should do uh beforehand which will prepare you for the uh, actual uh, internship interview and those things are basically go to hacker rank uh, solve a lot of problems from data structure from uh, java uh, you can choose any language basically but solve a lot of data structure problems solve a lot of dynamic programming problems which are there other portal which i would highly suggest is lit code now lit code has a set of a lot of uh, problems which can which, if which if you solve it will it will clear your your logic to a very high level now once you have solved all those problems you will be perfectly ready for solving the company uh, coding rounds and then you know appearing for the next rounds uh, which are technical rounds and other wide boarding rounds that will go through okay so this is very important start working on your data structure open an account on hacker rank open an account on lit code and start solving the problems now the month that you want to start this is in uh, around december or before that you might be having your final exams during that time so uh, starting in november is the right uh, time to start okay because uh, there are times that you might get the call in november itself just like me but then at that time you need to be pre prepared and that's why you should start early with the preparation uh, on these portals okay whatever solution you come up with all for all these problems that you solve online store them properly in your uh, computer or on some or on your drive or you know on any way safe because whenever you are going to solve all these coding rounds in future you might want to refer these uh, to give uh, to speed up the process for you okay now after that uh, another thing which i would like to suggest you is uh, go to some hackathons now hack uh, as i know you might be knowing already that hackathons are the thing where you go and you build something in two days uh, overnight uh, in a span of around 50 hours and i highly 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 recommend everyone uh, all of my friends to go to hackathons because you you will find some amazing people there to work with which will give you a very good experience a uh, very good experience of being a team player leading a team and working on some critical uh, ideas or good ideas apart from that a very important thing that which will which it will do uh, uh, for you is you can go and contact all the companies which are there and their hrs if they are available there now uh, recently we went to an hackathon developer week which happened in san francisco and uh, one of my friends uh, he 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 was interacting with a lot of people and he got contact from three hrs who said that uh, send us your resume we'll go through it and if if everything work, works out let's uh, set up the interview calls now that's pretty much amazing so i would highly suggest you to go to the uh, different hackathons which are available or which are happening in your area or your city meet the ceos the founders co-founders or the hrs of the company and ask them explicitly ask them explicitly that if they have any positions you would be interested to work with them and uh, always keep a few copies of your resume latest version of your resume handy with you so that you can hand, hand over it to them 
ओके आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेड अ सेपरेट वीडियो ऑन डिफरेंट टिप्स ऑन हाउ टू क्रिएट योर रेज्यूमे एंड द लिंक टू दैट इज राइट हियर मे बी समवेयर सो जस्ट गो एंड चेक चेक अराउंड इट्स अ शॉर्ट वीडियो इट विल हेल्प यू अ लॉट Apart from this, uh, there's one more tip, uh, which uh, which and which is the last tip which I want to give is uh, uh, go to LinkedIn and find out all the recruiters which are there in your area, and of uh, and are heading uh, hiring for different companies uh, in your area and start connecting with them. Send them a uh, connection request when they accept your request. Send them a thank you message and then you can. you know uh, prepare a template which again share with uh, all the recruiters uh, talking about your interest in the position they have okay so uh, this is one of the things which a lot of people don't do and the thing which i personally uh, experienced is when i connected with a lot of recruiters in the area a lot of them contacted me back after reviewing my profile on linkedin that uh, your profile looks good uh, we would like to uh, set up a call or something so that thing can happen with you so don't miss upon this opportunity go on linkedin send request to all of the recruiters which are here in your area okay uh, so these are pretty much the tips that i wanted to give you let me just see whether i have something which i am missing on yeah so there is this very important point which i wanted to share with you Uh, uh most of my uh, miss most of the times you will apply to 50 companies 100 companies maybe 150 positions and the thing that you will uh, go through is uh, you will you might not receive a call from any one of them or you know you might not even receive anything back from them you might not heard anything back from them and that that's quite disappointing now that has happened to a lot of my friends and that's why this last tip is really 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 important uh the thing is uh you can't uh, i would highly suggest you to not expect from every company and uh, uh, do not give up after applying to few companies and if you get few rejects the you only want one company to you know give you an offer and, and that brings me to the point that you want to apply to as many positions as possible as early as possible okay so the number that i generally uh, i generally go with is 500 so your goal is to apply to 500 positions as fast as possible so if you start in november and you apply uh, to 10 positions a day by end of the november you will be done with 300 right but then you consider the consider your uh, studies your projects and uh, go with only 5 applications a day but if you start that in november by end of december you will be done with 500 applications and you will see after you are done with 500 applications you will start receiving calls from few of the companies and you will be you know busy with preparing so that's a very important tip apply to at least 500 positions before you expect back something okay that will also give you that will also set a emotional uh stability uh, for you so it's very important uh i hope all these tips help you guys if you think i should make some video on uh, different topic or other topics that you want to hear me from uh, please comment in the sec- uh, comment section below and uh, i'm always uh, always available on facebook so you can always ping me on facebook message me on facebook i i generally reply within 24 hours uh It's been amazing journey, guys. So far, last six months, I have I have been talking to a lot of people, and it is really, really, really good response that I have received. And thank you all of uh, you for that. I have specific uh, now. Uh, I know uh, the visa, uh, you know, visa interview season is coming up now. So I have made a separate uh, playlist uh, of visa experiences that few of my friends have shared with me, and that list is uh, right here somewhere. or it might be here so check out that list if it helps you there are a lot of uh, other uh, videos which i have recorded and there also i have put up put them in a list for you to sort them out you know you can check that list out here so uh, if you like this channel and if you find it useful please subscribe uh, and you know let's stay connected let's grow together see you soon